the Soweto Rugby Club Haka. We are inspired or motivated by the Zulu Warriors. I remember Kalahara scored two great ones against New Zealand. Here's a chance. Wonderful play. Onozawa scores a superb try. And so 13 proving not unlucky for the flyer from Suntory. Everyone's talking about the Japan result, but I, I think even the Uruguay and, and uh, Argentina yesterday, they, those teams have been really impressive and it just shows the, the preparation they've put into this tournament and what it means to them. So um, it's, it's a good lesson for us going into to Wednesday that we, we're going to need to play really well to, to get what we want. I think like anyone, anyone, all the players in the team, you, you grew up watching the World Cup and that was the pinnacle and you dreamt of, of playing on that stage. So. Um, to be here now, it's it's um, yeah, it's it's a it's a huge honour to represent Australia on, on, on the world stage and and a, and a big opportunity. I've really just gone for the team I think is going to um, I feel is going to perform well in this match. You know, based on the way we've trained over the last period, we haven't had a game for a fair while. So we had the US game that gave a feel for some guys around getting some game time and. Um, let other guys have a little bit of time off around match time in that US game and then we, we've trained with some, this type of combination or something similar to it pretty much all the way through since the Rugby Championship. It, it, it doesn't mean anything for the next game and you know, re realistically our only focus is on what we're going to try to get out of today. You know, so, and I've been genuine with that. We've come here just thinking about how we can be better every day, 1% better. And then after that, the cards will fall where they do. You know, I don't think it's about having to make predictions or, you know, plan with this so I can do that or whatever it is. It's just about getting something out of today. And then we'll move on to tomorrow and, and work it out from there. This sculptural form, which is this continued collaboration with the Italian artist Nino Mustica, is really a celebration of the World Cup. We set on the idea of taking what is a very powerful moment in the game and describing that in a very abstract way. Everyone thinks of rugby as these big tough fellas, but actually there is an artistic side and a creative side to the game as well. This is an embodiment of one of the iconic parts of the game, the line out. Here I'm actually receiving the ball, you've got to get the right call, then you've got to get the accuracy, a combination of precision, of timing, yeah. the timing of the lift, and of dynamics of power as well. 
like a salmon coming out of the water and being able to grab the ball and then come back down again sort of safely and securely yeah. without being caught. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the idea of the catch came from that. Nina's replicated what the actual dynamic and the aesthetic of what it looks yeah, like yeah, in the air. Yeah. Then that juxtaposed against a very realistic and recognisable form of the vehicle itself. È una grandissima emozione, anche perché questo è, è lo stadio più importante che esiste per, per il rugby. E quindi non posso che provare grande emozione sia per questo tipo di installazione, sia per l'energia vitale che esprime questo stadio. Fans will be drawn to the sculpture. It's not an ordinary kind of rugby sculpture, it's a, it's a piece of art. It's very exciting, it'll create debate, it'll create talking points. Really looking forward to seeing how fans enjoy it. Walking around the corner and seeing it for the first time. Remember this started as a little sketch and now you see it and you go, wow, I think it's fantastic against that backdrop of the home of English rugby. It's great.